Danielle Zara, I'm actually doing a video response in regards to the comment or comments I received on my animated video with the robotic talking elf. <laughs> Urgent message, please clear out the anti extraterrestrial hate. I've actually had done two videos on this. One, like, you know, like a vlog. And then number two, like, where I had been got a character, spent time and effort into it, um, creating animation, and then I typed the text and so on and so forth. Um, first of all, what I encountered, somebody was, um, was commented on saying, "Excellent video for losers and schizophrenic patients." My response is that because this this video is actually been directed to everyone on this planet as it, it, it says a uh, video and I said so you because uh, I mentioned already prior in response says so that you so is that how you see everybody on this planet as losers and schizophrenic patients <sighs> That's that's what you actually your your comment means in regards to the thing, saying that the video is for so everybody is now uh, is now considered schizophrenic and a bunch of losers. <laughs> it's it's doing you know, I don't get it seriously. And then go on saying no evidence. And you mentioned that no evidence lies or verified theories or myths. Who believes in extraterrestrials is ignorant, and I'm sorry, but all this because of lack of evidence. Hmm. First of all, I've got something to say, which I mentioned in an older video. There's a difference between belief and understanding, and then knowing, right? First of all, belief. It's like something you have faith in, or you believe on something because you agree with it and then have faith in it. Um, and it's just basically word of mouth or text. It could, it's like believing in Santa Claus, believing in God kind of thing. Um, you might you might probably believe in God, but that, that's, you believe in God, you don't know God exists. And you don't understand if he exists or not. I don't think you actually really questioned it. But first of all, you believe. Like belief is just something that you can't really tangible. Uh, it's not really that tangible. It's just um, you agree to something, but you don't question it in a sense. Um, it's like believing in the tooth fairy, you, you know, because uh, you've been told. Uh, that it exists, and uh, then you reach the point like, mm, I've been told this, so therefore it does. No, seriously, I I don't follow that kind of analogy. Um, and then saying the p uh, the thing is, I don't believe in extraterrestrials. I know they exist because I've seen them. And I myself part of them, in relation to them, which is why I'm sort of like this hybrid thing. That's my purring, for example. Not many people can purr. Mm -hmm. So, and then you say, um. Um, there is no scientific evidence and it's all just illusions, delusions. If you know E.T., please bring him to show him or it self for us. At least for me. Oh. Seriously, um, there's actually quite a lot of evidence in the nature terrestrials, as a matter of fact. There's video evidence, there's photo evidence. Exactly, experience evidence. Um, although experience often is like word in mouth, um, to and often when you sometimes some people can understand the, the 
that it's evidence because of getting all the information and all the evidence together you understand the existence photo experiences video and not only that physical evidence as well such as remains of crushed spacecraft which is actually kept under the secret and reverse engineer the by governments and all that and they keep the technology from you because they want to keep the industrial military complex going and they want people to be slaves to the coin um, with this whole oil and fossil fuel nonsense so therefore that's physical evidence and then as well as implants as another form of evidence implants have actually been extracted from people and they've been put in and stored and there's a whole um, a science uh, involved around the implants of extraterrestrials uh, that, that have been put in people I myself um, had a few implants I might still have a few implants that I don't know that I have but I know very know that I, ha I had one I think I might still have one in the ear because the lump got like a lump there by my left ear then I had one in my leg that one actually was taken out and um, I had a friend who witnessed um, things strange things and um, the night I actually had that implant taken out so that's physical evidence um, then these crop circles is another evidence mm, they very debatable subject actually uh, because some people actually made the crop circles and not the extraterrestrials where they get the the, the planks and they squash the, the, the plants um, in a sense um, but actual genuine crop circles are made by these ball things and in a beam of light There's, and uh, the, 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 the stalks are actually bent and not damaged with actual um, genuine crop circles and then you get the ones that are like done by people actually the stalks and that are like broken and the plants are actually destroyed um, where genuine ones don't actually destroy the plants in a sense so that is another evidence and then you then I mentioned um, as well you mentioned that well with the illusions and dis disillusions now seriously, another evidence as you as meant is um, experiences by credible people, such as pilots. Um, pilots are sort of like a credible job. Um, they would actually put their lives at risk, and the passengers that actually transport at risk, if they who have hallucinations and see delusions and illusions, you know. Um, they actually would put the passengers on themselves at risk and there have been cases where the pilots and their co-pilots and, and the passengers have observed um, the UFOs then you there would also go to the point that not all um, UFOs or spacecrafts are extraterrestrial some are terrestrial as well because of reverse engineering even though the, the results of the reverse engineering is actually evidence um, for the existence of the original uh, um, craft that was actually reverse engineered and um, that's what I'm you know, going to say um, and then you say and you expect me to say if you know some ET, please tell him or show him. Why do we have the masculine thing for the entities? Not all of them are male, you know. Not all of them, you know. Um, I myself um, is very much in close relationship or family with uh, a hermaphrodite one. It's neither male nor female. So. And then I can't tell, give them orders to, to, to come and visit you or not. I can actually ask them.
but it's up to them if they want to or not and how on the basis on how you react when you see the extraterrestrials so um, they've got their own minds they're, they're conscious beings they've got the choice to visit you or not to visit you yeah you can't they're not they're not robots or animals and things like that um, that's a problem. People just tell other people what to do all the time. And you can't do that with the extraterrestrials. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. And um, if the pilots actually had uh, have see delusions and illusions and hallucinate what they see, they would have actually failed their flying school before they even became actual pilots because of probably issues with the brain or issues with the eyes so please to say there's no scientific evidence look around google um, there's lots of evidence some is good evidence and some is very bad evidence my experiences well to me is quite good evidence but because I don't have the evidence backed up all of it, except for uh, except for the footprints, which was lost, uh, or taken away, and then also photos and videos, which I've shared. Well, my evidence is basically reasonable, but it's not fantastic. But if you get all the evidences, and there are some good, fantastic evidences out there, you just have to look and research. Namaste. <laughs>